Hey, my name is Orin with MassRive.com. I'm sorry for it being portrait mode, but this is really cool news that just kind of dropped this evening as of February the 2nd. I think this is the 2nd. Anyway, um, we got new blast ball devices or a new blast ball device where you can change the appearance of the blast ball. And this is in GimKit Creative. You can change the appearance of it. You can change the physics of it. It can be bouncy, have more mass all that kind of stuff that's crazy cool already it says decide if you simply want to detect the ball when it enters the zone or it responds so you have a blast ball zone capture device where it'll give you points or whatever it gives you an item if you put it in to the zone that's crazy um so yeah this blast ball has different physics you can change or adjust with its speed its top speed is hit impact, its bounciness is friction, and its mass. I can only imagine what kind of game modes will come out with this stuff. Alright, it says the ball is more responsive to gadgets to deal more damage. So, a quantum portal will make it move more than a hit from a zapper. Uh, each ball requires a decent amount of server processing, which is why it is a fairly expensive device, about a thousand memory. But people are going to go ham with this. I already see the excitement with it. Changing the size of the ball means you can have it smaller like a little a little soccer ball or maybe even a little basketball. Who knows what other kind of balls like. I look forward to seeing what it looks like. Like I haven't I haven't gone on air yet to really check it out for myself. Uh, other big news, like I said, the capture device is kind of cool. Uh, there is a waypoint device as well. It says waypoint devices can now detect the ball as well. Um, there are uh, new blast ball court terrains, new blast ball props where you know you have the hydration drinks, the ice buckets, all that good stuff. Uh, one of the biggest pieces of news on here is that the uh, sentry appearances can now change. No longer do you have to worry about plant, you know, just getting a plant sentry or a robot or a pink plant. You can have Bonesy, Captain Buck, Chomps, Detective Baca, Echo or Vortex Agents, Libre, Ozai, Ravina, and Stash. That is crazy. This is crazy because you can actually have NPCs in your game mode if you want to have a little RPG style game. Or a game where you're just running around, you know, playing and stuff and, and people talking to you. You now have a, a game that looks like something that you're more familiar with. You know, that's, that's really cool. Or you can just have them like battling as little enemies along the way. That's also, you know, just standard, but it's also cool to see that they're going to be different looks and appearances now. I can only assume that there will be more later, but even if we just had these, it's all right. You know, I, I'm really excited for it. And what I'm also excited for is that he actually um, talked about platforming is coming to GimKit Creative. They're, they just started working on it. Working on it means that they're doing it. So they don't know when it's going to be ready, but they're excited that we'll be able to be playing our own platforming maps soon. I look forward to y'all making platforming maps, to be real. I'd love to uh, test those out. Definitely put them on the YouTube and stuff. Remember, if you have a game mode to uh, title it MathRive, have MathRive in the title or in the description so I can search it out. Um, I'm going to start releasing uh, videos of me testing out those game modes that have my, my uh, name to, to kind of get my attention to, to see and check out. Since I noticed that trending is uh, okay, but some really great game modes are made without trending. Uh, so, anyway, I also have a game mode coming out too very soon. So, keep that in mind. Keep that on watch. Anyway, ball device crazy. Uh, uh, sentry appearances are crazy as well. I'm excited for both. Thank you so much for your time. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, man, first of all, subscribe. Second of all, like the video. Third of all, leave me a comment below. Like, I want to see what your thoughts are. The ball device and and sentry appearances, big. Um, one thing I did know or I did hear is that uh, sentries are not able to target the ball itself. But you can make interesting game modes where you're trying to uh, take a ball from point A to point B in a map, like a, a small map or just a map in general. And if the sentries are firing at you, they're technically going to be hitting the ball too. 
you know, or trying to knock you out, but they'll be hitting the ball too if you're really close to it. So the, you can make the games that require some level of strategy along with that. Anyway, I think that's it. Have a great rest of the day, guys. I'm just so excited for this. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm stoked. <laughs> I don't even use that word. I'm stoked. All right, bye.